Marvel, you gotta stop with this shit. I can only defend you for so long, man. What is even happening? You decided to announce a female silver surfer and you just throw the woman to the wolves? All right, well, today's episode is brought to you by Gamer Subs. That's right, get yourself some anime-themed hoodies, some amazing drinks, such as the Fruit Punch or this blue one that is tied to the Shy Lily VTuber. But it's really good. I like blue. See, I drank it all the way down. Or you get yourself a waifu cup. Use the code COMICS at checkout if you want to get your hands on this type of product or just support our channel. All right, so what happened? What's going on? Benny, why, why, are, you, why are you making a video about this stuff? Okay. Fantastic Four is continuing to roll out their announcements about what is going on in the Fantastic Four movie. But see, that's the problem. It's not about what's going on in the Fantastic Four movie. They're just telling us people that are in the movie. Julia Garner is going to play a Silver Surfer in the upcoming Fantastic Four movie film. Now, if you go on the internet, the immediate reaction you're going to get for most people is a female Silver Surfer has been cast in the Fantastic Four. Oh my god, words like woke and MCU are going to be thrown around and everyone's going to be arguing that the MCU peaked back at Endgame. It is hard not to argue against the MCU peaking at Endgame because it feels like every time we have a win, like No Way Home or Deadpool and Wolverine, the MCU decides to then make a flop, such as the Marvels. So being an MCU fan has turned into having like a yo-yo of like, I like it. Oh man, everyone else hated it. Oh, I like it. And that's becoming a bit of an issue, but there's a larger issue going on here. Now, the female Silver Surfer, if you dig deep into the actual announcement, is apparently going to be Shala Ball. Shala Ball is the Silver Surfer of Earth X, and Shala Ball is the wife of Norrin Rad. Her history and story play out exactly as Norrin Rad's did, except that she's a woman. Which is perfectly fine. My argument for Chilean Pedro Pascal playing Reed Richards also applies to this. Because you can swap Norrin Rad to Shala Ball as proven by it happening in the comics. There's a comic called Earth X. It's a 12-issue thing telling of an alternate history in the Marvel Universe. And that is literally where she is coming from. Okay, cool. That can happen. But Marvel is being stupid. And I'm getting sick and tired of them doing this. Because what they're doing is announce the actors and actresses in the newest movie. And you're like, okay. And they're like, and we will give you zero context. Because the internet's not going to run wild with that. If you look into the Silver Surfer female-led, all you're going to find is people stating that it is a female Silver Surfer. Or a female Herald of Galactus assumed to be the Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer is a character within Marvel Comics, which is very recognizable because of his silver surfboard and his silver appearance. He's probably one of the most recognizable characters within Marvel that can't seem to hold down a consistent comic book. Typically when you see Marvel, you see things like the X-Men, Wolverine, Spider-Man, the Avengers, Captain America, Iron Man. But Silver Surfer pops up quite a bit. So going for a swap for the Silver Surfer is a bold move. Doing the swap of Pedro Pascal into the role of Reed Richards, not as bold of a move because most people aren't honestly going to care. Reed Richards is recognizable as a white guy with a beard and a haircut. Pedro Pascal is Chilean with a beard and a haircut. And there was even an argument of he's white enough to pass, which I found to be weirdly racist. But doing a swap to the Silver Surfer to a female lead is a bit of an issue, and I'm going to go into why. Now, the core story of the Silver Surfer can easily be told with a woman, okay? The core story of the Silver Surfer is that the Silver Surfer's home world was going to be eradicated by Galactus in exchange for sparing the home world. The Silver Surfer becomes the Silver Surfer and then flies through the cosmos with the power cosmic picking out worlds for Galactus to chow down on. There's nothing about that that says that the Silver Surfer needs a penis, okay? Just not in there. It's not in the plot. At no point was it like, Norn Rad, because you're such a strong man, you should, uh, Go ahead and find planets for me, Galactus. This is how I talk, bro. <laughs> I've always pictured bro Lactus as like my preferred version of Galactus. But anyway, what I'm saying is Silver Surfer being male to female doesn't ultimately matter. But it does to a lot of people. And that's where I think Marvel is dropping the ball. What Marvel is doing is giving us no actual information. In order to discover that the movie's not going to be in the MCU but it's going to be in an alternate universe and it's going to feature Shala Ball, I had to actually dig up the original article. Because if you go on the internet, the only thing going out there is that the Silver Surfer is going to be female. Which is all the ammo people need to be bombarding my feed on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok with how woke the MCU has become. 
also bombarding my feed with that same ABC diversity higher rules list that came out in 2020, but everyone likes to pretend is brand new since Elon Musk tweeted it. All Marvel would have to do is maybe give a freaking synopsis to the Fantastic Four. Set in a world adjacent to the MCU, Reed Richards and family are trying to figure out how to travel through the multiverse, only to be stopped by an individual known as the Silver Surfer. Oh, so we're not in the MCU. We're not in the comics. Got it. How is this going to play out? Because what you're going to do is you're going to have the Silver Surfer as a female in the trailers without specifying what is going on. What this is doing is setting up these actresses for failure. Because every time that they do one of these massive swaps or these massive character changes or do anything in general, they just throw it out there to the internet to consume. So now this actress is going to be bombarded with how she's ruining the Fantastic Four, ruining Silver Surfer, and ruining the MCU. If you don't believe me, just look at what happened to the entire cast of the Star Wars movies, which I don't even like, but that was just mean. And to make things even worse is when Marvel does these swaps, they don't treat the characters with respect a lot of the times. When they do these very dramatic swaps, such as the case of Taskmaster being swapped to a female lead. Now that in itself, there was no inherent issue with. Sure, Taskmaster is, you know, traditionally a guy and he's got a good history with a few characters in the Marvel comics, but he's obscure enough that you could have swapped it out. But then you remove the essence of what makes Taskmaster Taskmaster, the humor, the talking, the banter, because Taskmaster learns from his enemies, and in order to get them to go long enough for him to learn their abilities, he talks to them. Removing that element removes it being Taskmaster. So instead of being Taskmaster, we ended up with a woman with a paintball mask that wouldn't talk. It actually reminds me of what the X-Men did to Deadpool, where they just sewed up his mouth because he wouldn't shut up. But did anyone consider that Deadpool? No. As a matter of fact, Deadpool killed that guy. So this is what I'm getting sick and tired of the MCU doing. Just talk about, you want to announce the casting. You want to try and get us excited. Talk about the movie. Stop giving me casting announcements. And th the make it even worse, this might even be fake. Because the way the MCU does it is they give it an exclusive to one website and then everyone else elaborates on that and they don't say anything. If you're going to give an exclusive, give a synopsis, give an idea, talk about the movie. T stop just telling me who's going to be in it, because I don't give a shit. I don't care if it's Pedro Pascal and three people that I don't even remember their names off the top of my head right now, or if it's going to be Julia Gardner for Silver Surfer. Tell me that it's a Fantastic Four movie. Just be like, hey, MCU fans, we got a Fantastic Four movie coming out set in an alternate universe, and it's going to have the Silver Surfer. End a freaking story! Then start promoting the movie based on that and get me excited. Stop making me guess what the hell you're doing and leaving it up to an army of people who want to get into a political war over everything to decide if this is good or bad. Because that's what you're doing. The MCU is like, Julia Gardner's our silver surfer. Oh, by the way, she's from Earth X and she's Shala Ball. And we want to do this so that you know the Fantastic Four in an alternate universe. I'm whispering that part because one article has it. Anyway, that's where all the information is. We're not going to put it out publicly on Marvel Entertainment or the MCU. And we're not going to do a giant Kevin Feige thing to let everyone know. No, we're going to tell discussing film and just let the internet do what the internet does. Talk about it. And if your marketing idea is to get everyone talking about this, to be like, oh my God, Pedro Pascal for Reed Richards? What is wrong with you? Julia Gardner for, for Silver Surfer? What is wrong with you? All you're doing is putting, you're putting your actors and actresses out there to get bullied by the internet because we're in a day and age where anybody can reach out to anybody on the internet and half of these movie stars don't even understand, don't talk to the trolls. We're literally in a day and age where Daisy Ridley from the Star Wars movies was like, that was one of the most horrific times of my life. I was so upset. The woman who played Rose Tico, I, from what I understand, like quit acting at least temporarily over the whole situation. And you're just throwing these people to the wolves to get eaten alive when all you have to do is start talking about your movie. Stop talking about who's in the movie. Tell me about the movie. I'm so tired of products, TV shows, and movies, and comics being promoted to me as the first paragraph, female-led cast, diverse casting, diverse this, when all I want to know first is, is it a good movie? 
That's all I care about. Is it a good comic? Is it a good video game? Is it a good product? Then, when you've hooked me with that, tell me about the boundaries you're breaking. Because I'm all for diversity and female-led movies and stuff like that. But I don't give a sh about that. I give a sh if it's good. Tell me if it's good. Tell me what it's about. Then tell me what you're doing with it. That's what I'm tired of. That's what I'm irritated with. Just tell me a good product. And that's what I want them to do with Fantastic Four. Tell me a synopsis about what the hell this movie's about. Then tell me the casting. Because when you come out first and tell me female Silver Surfer, it's a lot harder to be like, oh yeah, they're not going to ruin the movie. Because you ruined Taskmaster. So how am I supposed to have faith in these swaps unless you make it blatantly obvious why you're swapping them? And if this marketing strategy is just to get people talking about the product, if we're going with the old adage of any news is good, any, was it a, even bad news is good for promotion? You know what I'm trying to say? You're playing a very dangerous game in this day and age, Marvel. Because what you did with the Marvels is you weaponized a whole bunch of people on various social media platforms who shit all over the movie. And there's no definitive evidence if that directly affected sales, but that movie did so poorly, it's hard to ignore all the vitriol that was on every other platform. I enjoyed the Marvels. It wasn't a great movie, but it wasn't a terrible movie. And I do think it should have done better than 189 million or whatever it ended up pulling in, but that doesn't matter. You're playing a dangerous game by giving ammo to everyone without explaining yourself. I think that's it. I don't have anything else to say that's not going to probably get me canceled. But if you enjoy me ranting about stuff, check out my other channel where I just talked about Sydney Sweeney's boobs, alpha males, and AI girlfriends. Yeah, we're all over the place, but I'm talking about a lot of topics and would love for you to join me. Link down below. Check out our sponsor, Gamersups. I'll see you next time.